Based on the written journal, we could see that Umar was diagnosed with Oppositional Defiant Disorder ODD. So, what is Oppositional Defiant Disorder? It is a type of behaviour disorder which was defined by a pattern of hostile, disobedient and defiant behaviours directed at adults or other authority figures. ODD is also characterised by children displaying angry and irritable moods as well as argumentative and vindictive behaviours. These children will do things purposely cause conflict, annoy the people around them and they will oftentimes place the blame on others too. According to Valley Behavioural Health System, it is estimated that about 10.2% of all children will develop ODD, but the true prevalence of its existence is still debated amongst professionals. It is been said that prior to the onset of puberty, ODD is more prevalent in boys than it is in girls. Besides, children with ADHD, conduct disorder, and mood or anxiety disorders are also more likely to have ODD. Next, as researchers don't know what causes ODD, there are two main theories for why it occurs. The first one is developmental theory suggests that ODD starts when children are toddlers and they may have trouble learning to become independent from a parent. Meanwhile, the second theory proposed that ODD is a learned attitude where children mirror the effects of negative reinforcement method used by parents. So, what are the signs and symptoms of ODD in a child? We can classify it into three aspects. The first one is behavioural symptoms such as arguing and fighting, being spiteful and seeking revenge, refusing to follow rules, blatant and repeated disobedience, unwilling to compromise or negotiate, deliberately acting in a way that will annoy others, and easily losing one's temper or throwing repeated temper tantrums. Second, Cognitive symptoms were like frequent frustration, difficulty concentrating, failure to think before speaking. Third, psychosocial symptoms such as persistent negativity, loss of self-esteem, difficulty making friends, and consistent feeling of annoyance. Finally, it is remarkable that early treatment can often prevent future problems. Treatment may include family therapy, which improves communication skills and family interactions because having a child with ODD can be very hard for parents. Second, cognitive behavioural therapy where a child learns how to control impulse, anger, solve problems and communicate. Next, medicines, which are not often used to treat ODD but may need it for other symptoms or disorders such as ADHD. And last would be peer group therapy, where a child develops better social and interpersonal skills. In conclusion, this video was created to spread awareness to all future teachers that our students may suffer from different types of disorder. Hence, don't judge our students easily and let's become a knowledgeable and understandable teacher. That's all from me. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.